So many of our adventures start with a point on a map. This day was no exception. James and I have been talking about this point on a map called Aliso Springs for a very long time. Unfortunately, the spring is blocked off, it's landlocked by a residential area on the west side of Tuba. And so it took us some time to figure out a really good way to go, but this way is from Anita Well. Getting ready to meet James. We got a little bit of a later start. I've been honestly completely stressed out. Life here in the city is pretty rough. Every drive-in is like a stroll along memory lane. All these areas you see here are different spots James and I have explored over the years. Where the road ends is typically where the adventure begins for me. My name is Matthew and this is Exploring God's Country. Starting our adventure here this morning from Anita Well. We're going to see if we can't find Aliso Spring. The, the turtle left his home. Yeah, it's a tortoise, actually, isn't it? Well, I don't know the difference. <laughs> tortoise is more of a land guy. I see. Yeah, there's no nobody home. He's nobody home. I can... He's gone. We're starting out a bit later today. It's a, around a quarter of nine, and it's quite cold. I suppose it's probably fifty. John said he went up this side somewhere. He had to, well, he said he didn't need to rope up, but he roped up on his guests. I don't know if it was the left or the right, the east oh, or the on west. This, on or this face, yeah. Just on the northern side somewhere. North, <clears throat> northeast, probably. This little thing I got on here, I think it's called a buff. It's just like a little scarf. It's a stretchy piece of cloth. Mainly, I use it to keep the sun off me if it comes to that, and you can dip it in the water and it has a cooling effect. Uh, it was only a few dollars. It's actually pretty windy up here, so I threw it on and I'm using it as a scarf. We stumbled upon what would be a pretty darn good campsite here. It's out of the wind on this, oh, just above the creek here. And it's a nice flat spot, some cover. Uh, it's got some sand here. You can push your tent stakes into if you use a tent. Came around the corner and there's a cow right there staring at me. Um, it looks friendly enough. Actually, yeah, that is a cow. I don't think it's a bull. And uh, yeah, we got a little company out here. Something recently passed this way. It broke off this uh, branch right here. I don't know. I don't think the wind would do that. It's broken down below as well. There's a bit of a rocky ledge here. We're going to see if we can't avoid that. I don't know what I was wondering. Is it easier to go around this or go across it? I think around it. It is extremely scenic right now. The sun is parting through the clouds. We have uh, almost meadows of these golden colored flowers that are blooming right now. I thought it was a combine, but I think it's a, let's see, it doesn't have a spur on the end, I don't think, I don't think it's columbine. Yeah, I, I might leave that bit there. It's a protective glove, who knows what they're handling. Oh. I don't know. Latex glove. Maybe they're handling drugs or something. Or smallpox victims. Or... <laughs> yeah. Um, Another high point is what you would come to if you were to leave the car and hike to the to the left, up on the ridges. Uh huh. And that'd be interesting. Um, we were only a half mile from that point. Probably. Twenty one, um, where we found my drone. Now you can see the residential area to the side of me, which uh, you can't pass all the way through to get back into this uh, forest service area. It's, it's not that far. We're not that far from it, according to the 
coordinates that I got off of Google Earth, which I don't think are particularly trustworthy, but you know, they give you an idea. We're walking through a huge meadow of flowers. This is really beautiful. Up in front of us is our first glimpse of water in this ditch. Uh, there should be a spring around here somewhere. It's an old two liter uh, soda bottle. Getting more water now. Yeah, more water, but wouldn't it come from above? No, it come from out. Out of the side. Out of the bed. There are water stain marks all over the rocks, but there's nothing really flowing like a spring. It's more kind of a seep. We don't hear any trickling or bubbling noise like you would associate with the spring quite yet. Behind me there was what was left of some clothing. Up the rain's gonna get us. Did you look at how far say we for, were from the spring? No. Uh, oh. I don't know how the spring is. I just marked this so I could go back to the map. Down here is the west side of the town of Tubac. It's a very premier area with acreages. And there was a shooting back here years ago. The cartel was in this big gorge to the west of Tumacockery Peak. There's grottos in there and they're all hanging out, but some of them weren't buddies, I guess. And they got in a gunfight, came down to one of these houses here, and the guy died on the, the doorstep. The rain's starting to close in on us right there. We're in a little bit of a dusting right now, but that's gonna be a bit heavier if it reaches us. I had to put on this poncho. It's not raining too hard, but Years ago, I wrecked a bunch of camera gear when we got suddenly caught in a torrential downpour in Madera Canyon. We just have to make our way up and over this next pass here. And Anita Well is on the other side where we parked the truck. Much easier. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's a little, not as much up and over and around. Yeah. We took the high road earlier. You can go in the USGS archives and go back a hundred years or more. We're kind of wondering if uh, Aliso Springs is not um, a carry forward from an older map. If you ever wondered where the birthday balloons go to die, well, I think now you know. Uh, Feliz Campianos. Happy birthday. South Ridge to us here uh, seems to be getting some pretty good rain. Uh, it's blowing to the west though and over into the Lowell Canyon area. It's one of those little uh, Vienna sausage containers. I'm making a run for it, so to speak. My bag on over this rough terrain. And uh, you wanna work out, come out here and do this up and over the mountains. I can't get eyes on James right now, so I'm gonna go up to this little ridge, across the small ridge, double check I can see him. There's the saddle we crossed right there. We we're coming down there. I came up and over this to the side right here. Um, I think, and I can hear him, he got down and he's into this and he's gonna come over, which is even easier. I'm up here, I'll be down in a moment. Oh, I hate to break the group up. I never should have done that. I always regret it. You have another set of keys. Yeah. Winning. Moo! Moo! You know, I hope you can find your adventure too. 
This sure is exciting sharing these treks James and I take with you. However, I'd love to see you out in the mountains as well. Until then, we hope to see you on the next video.